So today in our video, I'm going to show you how to create a very basic game using Scratch. So Scratch portal is something like where you can create your own game. First, I'll show you how the output look like. Click on the sprite cat and you can go to the costumes and you can upload the costumes over here. Okay, you can place the dinosaur over here. So dinosaur looks very big. You can change the size of the dinosaur by 50. Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to Anita's podcast. I know everyone likes to play a game. But what if you create your own game and play on it? It will be double excited, right? Yes. So today in our video, I'm going to show you how to create a very basic game using Scratch. So this video is completely for kids. So kids, if you're watching this video, please do come and join with me. So we are going to create a very excited game. So before getting into the video, if you're watching our channel for the very first time, please do like, share and comment and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into the video. First, I'll show you how the output look like and then I'll tell you how to create this game. So you can see, you can see a girl is standing over here with a cat. So this girl is trying to save her cat uh, from the enemy. So you can see many enemies are coming over this way. So whenever she is jumping, she is like saving her cat. So whenever she gets hit by the enemies, the game is over. So that's what the game is about. You can keep the score, you can keep the timer. So I'll tell you about what is the score and what is the time when we are coding it. So yes, let's get started. So first, I want everyone of you to log into the Scratch portal. So Scratch portal is something like where you can create your own game. So this is a Scratch. So log in with your credential. I have logged in with my credential and click on a file, click on a new and you will be getting this page. So the first character over here is a cat character. This is a default character. So if you want to change the character, you can change by clicking over here. So yes, so uh, first of all, when you create a, uh, like a game, you have to set some rules. So rules is, is like, uh, like so first what you're going to do, the steps I want you to put. Okay, so the game, uh, to, to create uh, today's game, so first we have to create a background. So to create a background, you can click over here and click on the backdrop and you can click over here and you can select the background. So I want some background, something like a night city. So I have my background is here and uh, I want to change the sprite character so i go to the so click on the sprite click on the sprite cat and you can go to the costumes and you can upload the costumes over here so you can choose any costume from here or else you want something else from the google you can you are always welcome to upload it by using the upload costume so i have already uploaded and kept one girl character here the girl is uh, holding a cat so you can select this character if you don't want anything you can delete it and come to the code you can see the background is set the girl is uh, standing over here with a cat okay so uh, the first step is uh, set the background the second step is creating the sprite so uh, our main sprite is created so i'll just make her stand over here and we have to create our enemy so enemy will be standing over here so i'm just creating another sprite so the enemy something looks like a dinosaur or yes so dinosaur i'll keep this dinosaur okay you can place the dinosaur over here so dinosaur looks very big you can change the size of the dinosaur by 50 or so 50 looks very small I, I'm going to keep this as a 60 70 okay so 70 okay it looks still looks big I just keep as a 60 so I'm I'm placing the character over here so the second character is over here so I don't I'm not going to stick with only one character so I'm, I want many characters to come so for that we don't need to click on this new new sprites what I do is I click on this uh, dinosaur character and go to the costumes I'm going to add the different types of the costume instead of adding many sprites we can have the different costumes over here so I just delete the uh, dinosaur costumes so uh, you can select any one dinosaur costume here, here and you can upload the rest from here okay so I want something like a ghost character so come here and just type ghost and you can see the ghost is here so what you can do is you can see the ghost is uh, turning that side so I want the ghost to be turned this way so uh, what I do is I just select I'll select everything and group it and flip it so you can see it is turned toward this way so you just place where you can place it over here and you can create the second character so one second character something like a fox so type fox yeah so the fox is here so fox also stay uh, standing that way so you give a control all group it and flip it you can see it's turned toward this way and you can position the fox and I want one more character to be at so here you can come and search for the other character so the third character is a dog you can keep a knee dog I just keep this one 
So the cat also looking that way. I give command all, rotate it and flip it. Yes. So now all our characters are ready. Dinosaur, ghost, fox, and the dog. Okay. So yes, let's get into the game. Okay. So the first. So the uh, the girl is standing over here. So whenever the uh, enemy is attacking, she has to jump. Wherever she is standing, she has to jump. So that's what we are going to do. So first, whenever the flag, the green flag is clicked, we are going to make her uh, jump from the place wherever she stands. So for that, what you have to do is go to the events and take when clicked. So event is a something like uh, in the coding we have to do. So whenever the green flag is clicked, we are going to trigger the event. So when the green flag is clicked, so I'm making a uh, first. Uh, we have to set our position. So our position is somewhere here. Okay. So I want her to stand always here whenever the program starts. So if you see here, if you go to the motion, you can go to the go to X and Y. So X and Y is nothing but the coordinates, like where exactly she is standing. So uh, for example, if you move. So you can see the coordinates also coordinates also changed as per wherever she moves. So I'm just making her stand over here and I take this go to and attach it here. Okay, so she is standing here. Then this dog. So whenever so whenever the flag is clicked, so she uh, this dog has to move from this place to this place. Okay, so for that what I have to do is. I'll go to the I'll go to the control and I take forever loop. Forever loop is something like it will be going on and on. It is like a loop. So I want the characters to be like going from here to here. So for that I'm using this forever loop and the position is wherever the dog is standing. I go to the motion and take the go to X and Y position. This will be the first position and I want the dog to move over here. So for that what do you do is you just drag the dog to over here. Just drag the dog over here and get the glide. So glide is something like so you're moving from one place to another place. So I just keep this one here. So if you click, you can see the dog is coming from one place to other place. So the first thing is uh, it is standing from here. The second one is it is gliding from here to here. So it is moving very fast. So I am just keeping it as a so. So I don't want to move very faster, so I'll just keep 1.4. So you can see the dog is slowed. So it has been slowed. Okay, now. So uh, here we have set many costumes, right? So to change the costumes, what I do is I go to the I go to the switch costumes, keep it over here and then go to the operators and take the pick random number and put it over here. I have a four, uh, four characters, four costumes. So I just give pick random one to four. So if you see one, the moment I kept this, you can see all the animals, all the costumes is changing randomly. It is randomly picking. Okay. That's it. Now, so this thing is over. Now the girl has to jump from the place wherever she is standing. So for that, what we have to do is, so first of all, the girl is standing over here. So what I do is, so once she position, I want to keep some broadcast message. This message is something like we are letting the other set of a code to know that we have start the game. So for that, I'm just keeping game started. Okay. Game started. 